Hello, welcome to Regression Diagnostics in Stata. In this video covers normal distribution of the error term. In the previous video, we discussed um, that the error term should have uh, a mean value, value of zero. Okay, normal distribution of error term is very important when we need to think about generalization of the results especially when our sample is so small. So that's why we need to discuss this normal distribution. And if the error terms are not normally distributed, it can uh, lead to wrong T values and uh, F values, depending on what uh, test we are running. And then that makes the inefficiency of the OLED model. Um, we are not utilizing all the information that we have. And we can test for normality tests, or we can check whether the data is normally distributed, the residuals are normally distributed in three ways in Stata. So we can use um, histogram just to see the structure of the, the distribution. We can look at the descriptive statistics. For example, we look at um, the ketosis, skewedness, mean, and median. To have a normal distribution, ketosis uh, should have a value around three, and the skewedness should have a variance around zero. And you can also compare the mean and median to see whether they're the same. A normal, normal distributed error um, or any variable should have uh, mean and median around the same value. They should be around the same uh, value. If, the perfect one to have the same value. And there are tests to use to check whether the normal distribution assumptions, uh, assumption is, is, is whole. But then when we have a large sample, uh, my, they usually reject the normal hypothesis of normal distribution. So we have to be careful when we have large samples. How to do that in Stata? Uh, we just follow three steps. You first run your OLS model. Second, you um, predict the residuals. And third, you then use the various means that we have discussed to check whether the residuals are normally distributed. Histogram by using the command histogram. And summarize is to produce the descriptive statistics. And you can use the um, um, a skewness uh, test to check um, normal distribution. And we have also other tests called the um, superior will text and also the superior will uh, alternative test called uh, Francia. So this is when we have, the first one is when we have uh, observation less than 2000, but we have observation close to 5000 then we can uh, use the second one. Okay, so any of these tests is sensitive to N, as I mentioned, with a large N, we can expect that the p-value will be less than 0 0.05, meaning that we have a normality problem. In this series of uh, diagnostics, uh, regression diagnostics, we will be using a uh, data set that is already installed in Stata called the uh, Automobile Data Set 1978, Automobile Data Set, and we will use it throughout. Now let's go to Stata and try to do what we have discussed. So follow me with your Stata, uh, open up your Stata, and then you can uh, down, download the data set into Stata from here, you go to file, and then you look for example data set. And you can see uh, data set installed with Stata. Okay, so you click on that. Then you will see auto. So you just click on use. So there are two versions, you use the first one, you go, click on use to be loaded to Stata right now. So I go back to Stata and I have the data set here. So I have a list of arrows, the observations, um, um, 
74, 12 variables. And then we will uh, proceed to conduct the test for normality, normal distribution of the residuals. Okay, so you could have also typed sys use, system use, auto, and to do the same thing instead of going to files and all that. And then for all tests we'll be doing, we, we want to look at this regression model. We want to see the factors influencing the price of a car. We can say MPG, foreign, weight, length. These could, this is just, um, just to illustrate. Okay, then we will then, when we say quietly, we don't see the output. Stata will only just produce uh, random without showing the output. That is what we will be doing throughout this regression diagnostics. So let's start. We already loaded the, loaded the data. I'm going to run the regression. I don't, I'm not interested in the results. So I click, okay. I should see that it's run in Stata. So you see it's run. I don't want to see the output. What is we are interested in to check whether the residuals are normally distributed. So I predict the residuals. So predict is the command. So I can type any variable here, but I just want to say residuals. I can even add S or anything. So let's say residuals and I say residuals. Okay, but for now, because I already wrote the command. Uh, so in order to go faster, let's just keep it as it is. So let's run this. Predict residuals is done. I could also just highlight the two and, 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 and click. So let's do the first thing. We want to look at the residual where it's normally distributed by looking at histogram. So he, so residual, normal. So that is, if you add normal, you won't get the curve. So here is it. Okay. Well, it's not looking too bad. So we can uh, probably say the um, residuals are, norm are normally distributed. We can only see this bar up. Well, all, almost everything is within the curve, the bell shape. But then we can look at the other options in order to conclude whether we have normal distribution. Let's run the summary statistics. You can just say SU. Uh, Stata knows that I want to do the summary test test. So let's see. Then now look at the result. Here I told you that one way to compare the median, which is the 50th percentile, um, we see that is minus 390. And then we have the mean, which is far different from that. Um, then we cannot say that we have a normal distribution based on these two. But then we can also look at the skewness and ketosis. Skewness is supposed to have, uh, skewness is supposed to be around uh, zero here, but it's not. However, the ketosis is really good, it's around three. So we seem to have normal distribution, but it's not clear, okay? Let's um, check the test itself. So we can run the skewer ketosis test to do to compare. So let's run the p value. If the p value is greater than um, 0 point, 0 0.05, then we can accept normal distribution of the. So here it says uh, ketosis and uh, skewness and ketosis test for normality. So for skewness, it says we can reject assumptions about normal distribution. And uh, for ketosis, as I mentioned, we can accept assumption about normal distribution. The p-value is um, greater than 0 0.05. But then we can also look at the joint effect, the joint test of the two, and we see that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we can reject null hypothesis that there is normal distribution. And then we can look at the, um, the Sapiro will test and to conclude, but it's likely to be the same result as the skewness ketosis test. Here you can see um, the p-value is uh, less than 0 0.05. So we can reject 
the assumption that we have normal distribution. So our data is not normally, our residuals are not normally distributed. But again, as I mentioned, uh, be careful when you have large data, data set. Okay, this is how we test for normal distribution of the residuals. You can do the same for any variables, any variable that you have, but this is, we are interested in the residual, which is the very important thing for OLS regression to be generalized. Next, we will discuss about um, the heterocidacity problem of the residuals or the error time in the next video.